Hello everyone. There's a lot of hype around DeepSeek. Let us learn how we can run DeepSeek in a simple notebook. Now you can use this notebook to run as powerful model as ChatGPT over Mini for your projects for free. And you can also use this for your company or for your open source research as well. Let's get started. The notebook which you see here shows you how we can run DeepSeek in a simple setting. We are going to run DeepSeek for billion parameter model. If we compare this model with the O1 Winnie based on different, say, benchmarks, we see that this model is as good and comparative to O1 Winnie model based on many different tests, including the live code bench test, where it's as good as writing code as O1 Winnie. We'll first start with installing some of the dependencies. Later on, uh, we'll import some of the libraries which we need here. We can actually even fine tune this model. We'll try to learn that in the later notebooks. I'll also share some description in my video, which, which you can follow some of my past tutorials on fine tuning. I am going to go with the 14 billion parameter DeepSeek model, which is a distilled variant of Quen 14B. Again, the main DeepSeek model is quite big for us to run in a simple notebook. We need much powerful resources, but the distilled variant is what is as powerful as O1 mini model. We are going to use bits and sands uh, uh, library for quantization. Again, 14 billion parameter is a big model, so we'll quantize it so it will fit within our requirements. So let's get started with first importing the library and then again um, in initiating some of the terms and parameters which we need. Now, uh, the bits and bytes config, like I said, uh, if you have more access to resources, you don't need to quantize it. But in my experience, quantization is a good way to test it for simpler settings. At, at this place, you have to add your Hugging Face token. So this token is actually when you log into Hugging Face, you, will, you can get your access token. I've added it ABC because I already ran this cell with my token. Now the loading of the model takes some time. For example, in the loading, it will download all these parameters. Uh, and this one actually takes around 13 to 14 GB of uh, memory of the GPU. So in the Google free, free collab variant as well, this will run very fine. It may take, uh, depending on like uh, internet connection on the cloud, because we are downloading it on the cloud, it may take four to five minutes to run. After the model is downloaded, we can again go ahead with the tokenizer. This is a Quen tokenizer again, because this is a distilled variant of the Quen model itself. Let us define the function uh, with which we can get model parameter outputs. Now, in this notebook, I am going to give just an overview. If you want to learn this more, follow my channel for some of the other tutorials and videos. We are going to give model input uh, of the past tokens, like the past sentences uh, when they are converted into tokens, attention mask, which we are to focus on, and we are going to ask model to create some outputs. The max new tokens are the outputs which model will create for us. Query model is actually where we uh, play with the model. We have to define the role, such as the system and the user context, like what are you and what we want to do from the model. Tokenize the input, get the output from the model. Again, we could decode the output and so on. Let us first use this one for a very simple setting. I'm telling it that you are a helpful teacher and explain what is gravity to a six-year-old. Now running this will take some time because in this one, we are doing a forward inference in the model. And as you know, forward inferencing um, is time consuming process. We are using GPU resources here. So let us wait for a few seconds and uh, this output will come for us. Okay, this output is available. Like we asked, you're a helpful teacher, explain what is gravity to a six year old. Now assistant, after the assistant token, the output actually starts. So I think I need to explain gravity. Here is what I'll make simple enough for them to understand. I think about the kids, uh, all of these things, like it's, it's a good output and um, let us look at a little bit more for matter manner and we see that it explains it through some simple toy examples because we are telling it to explain to a six-year-old. Let us do something more beautiful. Let us tell it to create a student graded system. So I'm telling it that you are a teacher who is grading eighth case students and then some more instructions and then we give it some questions and ask it to grade the students. Now this is like a real example. Uh, running it will take some time. So I have already ran it um, for part of this video. And what you see here is that it gives a very detailed feedback to the students that answer is too simplistic for one student. It's better than student one. It's comprehensive and accurate. And then because it's grading it, it kind of grades student one, a four out of 10, student two, seven out of 10, and student three, nine out of 10. This is another student graded example, again, on what is gravity. It again goes at it does a quite reasonable job in grading the students. This notebook is just to help you get started. If you want to learn more on what is quantization, how it is done for LLMs, and also learn about tokenizers, follow my channel for other videos.